Hello guys, today, I present to you the P-47D28, also known as the Thunderbolt. It's a deadly and probably the most powerful ground attack fighter in the game. Unlocked at level 27, it comes with 10 high-velocity aircraft rockets, 850 caliber machine guns, and a fat hamburger bomb of 500 pounds. If you're looking for a plane that can turn your enemies into Swiss cheese, then the P-47 is the beast you're looking for. It's got more firepower than a fireworks factory and can shred through enemy planes like a hot knife through butter. And let's not forget those bombs. Drop them on the ground, and watch the enemy troops scatter like ants. But wait, there's more. The our rockets are very powerful and can destroy any tank you will face. Even the thick tiger tank, they can even be used against bomber aids, where with some luck, they will hit incoming bombers and only shot them. Against infantry, I suggest spreading them around the capture point and walk behind it. The P-47 is quite fast and maneuverable, with a max speed of 731 km per hour. That's faster than a cheetah on rollerblades, and with that speed, Combined with its firepower, it's no wonder the P-47 is a formidable opponent in both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground combat. In terms of handling, the P-47 is pretty easy to fly, even for those who haven't played the game before. It's stable and responds well to player inputs, which is great news for all you rookie pilots out there. Just make sure to watch out for those pesky enemy planes, because with the P-47's size and weight, Carrying secondary armament feels like you're flying a bathtub. So if you're looking to do some fancy aerial acrobatics, you might want to look elsewhere. But if you want a plane that can dish out some serious damage while still being relatively easy to fly, then the P-47 is your guy. Just be mindful of your NASCAR engine, as it has some overheating issues. Don't fly with full throttle for a long time, or it will overheat and abandon you. Now, let's have a look at your opponents who might challenge your aerial superiority. The Germans will mostly fly twin-engine BF-110, which can be obliterated very easily. The same story for Junker 188 bomber. Regarding other planes like BF-109 and Volkwolf 190, it's a different story. Fighting them one-to-one -one with bombs and rockets is very difficult, and I suggest dropping that extra weight as soon as you see an incoming fighter. Try to get them head-on and shred them with your bullet stream. Your plane is quite tanky, and it can sustain big damage even fly without a wing. In conclusion, the P-47 is a solid choice for players who want a plane that can pack a punch and hold its own in combat. Sure, it's got its drawbacks, but who cares when you're flying a beast like this? Just watch out for those enemy planes and enjoy the ride.